Hello and welcome to ARC 313 Architecture and Watercolor video P2 on perspective. In this video we're going to look at how do you use your pencil as a measuring device to draw what you see from life in the scene in front of you, measuring it with your pencil and then transferring that onto the page. Um, there's a couple of techniques that you should be aware of before we start. One is find a pen, you can use a pen as well, or pencil that will fit nicely onto your page. So I like to go one to one on the scale so that one pencil in life equals one pencil on the page. Um, and you can that doesn't mean you can't scale it. You could do one pencil in real life meets two pencils on the page or one pencil in real life is a half a pencil on the page. But to keep it as simple as possible, your best bet is to just go one to one. You don't have to think about it too much. The other thing is you have to find out what is your strongest eye. Uh, a lot of people have a stronger eye than the other, and so you wanna be using that as your measuring device. So what you wanna do is find an object out in space, and with both eyes open, put your thumb over that object, okay? And then, with both eyes, with the thumb still over that object, close one of your eyes, and the thumb should still be on it, and close the other eye, and your, and your thumb will move quite a bit from one side to the other. That will tell you which is your strongest eye. The eye that's stronger is the one that leaves the thumb over that object in space. So in my case, my right eye is stronger, so I'm gonna always use my right eye for this technique. The other thing is always make sure your elbow is as far out as it can be. Don't have trombo arm, because you wanna be able to always have the same um, scale so if your pencil is always in the same place, uh, the, the difference between this and that is gonna be accurate. So if you come over here, I can show you what I'm talking about on the page. So this is just an example of how using my pencil in the vertical format, I can find this angle of the stool and then I can draw that on my page. I can also measure how long that pencil is out in space and transfer that onto the page. Um, and that, that's good for finding angles or dimensions. Always, you know, using your pencil in space to find out what this angle is and see how this angle is. See, this is one thing where you can find out your, your perspective is accurate right away because if this angle ends up being bigger than this one, then you know that you're not measuring it right because when I measured in space, clearly this angle is quite a bit bigger than that one. And it also works on buildings, you know, to, to measure the, the angle of how the, the ceiling meets the wall uh, or the other ceiling meets the wall. Um, and also, if you want to get really elaborate, you can get a grid going on your page. And some people will even go so far as to build a, a grid with a standard frame uh, and thread, and that grid is a one-to-one -one relationship with what the grid that's on your page. I don't go to that level. I just use my pencil to go, oh, okay, the bottom of that window is one pencil dimension off the uh, finished floor out of the ground floor. So that's how I do it. So I'm going to actually just walk you through one of these really quickly. I'll draw the corner of the room up there. First, I'm going to measure how much I'm going to draw with my pencil. I'm going to draw this much. So I'm gonna get a vertical line. I'm drawing lightly to begin with. Uh, I'll fill in the lines darker later on. But that's how far I wanted to go. And I quickly get the angle of the left wall meeting the uh, ceiling. So I'm gonna draw a very light horizontal line here because I know that the angle from the ceiling to the wall is that high. And it's a little bit steeper on the, going the other way. So I'm looking at it here. And it goes up this high. And so see how I get a slightly different angle here and here. I was able to measure that with my pencil. Now there's a beam up there, so I want to get the, the height of that beam. It comes down about this far. And on the other side, I'm going to measure how far it is. It's like about that far off. It's a little bit further out but approximately the same size. And the angle is really close 
to the first angle, but just a little bit splayed. Same thing with this one. And then the bottom of the beam is that angle right there. So I'm gonna draw that in. And on the other one, it's a little bit steeper. So this should come down about here. And I can measure the bottom of the beam right there. I'm going quickly because I know you can always rewind this video if you need to. Uh, but I also am familiar with this technique. So you, you can feel free to go a little bit slower when you're constructing these. Now there's, a, there's an indentation in the beam, so I'm going to cut that out too. And get the dimension of the angle there. And this angle here. And there's the indentation. And then going the other way. Actually, I think I measured that wrong. It's actually a little bit longer than that. All the way out to here. So I'm going to get rid of that line later. That's the nice thing about this is you can always go back and double check if you have your angles and your dimensions right. And now there's a little bit of a wall coming down below this beam here. And it goes up right about there. And its dimension off the center of the column is here. And there's a chamfer on the column, so I gotta get that chamfer down, just like that wide. And then going the other way. I can start getting the uh, glazing in here. And it's actually a little bit closer to the center line of the column. It comes all the way to here. And there's a frame for the curtain. And the curtain comes out this far. And so then beyond the curtain, I'm just gonna draw some of the folds in this curtain for right now. And then their glazing system has some mullions coming down that are this dimension here. And this dimension. And there's one more here. Voila, so now I have the baseline and I can darken this up for you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go away for a sec. I'm gonna darken this up and erase this line and I'll show you what it ends up looking like. 